These 3D prints are fantastic and fast, pretty fast for multicolor. I want to show you why I think the new Bamboo Lab H2D makes a big difference in printing time. Mainly because it has dual nozzles, but it's different than what you would expect, in a very good way. So how does it work? I think the best way is just to show you some cool 3D prints. And we can compare together the differences. And of course I had to choose something from the best series, Star Wars. My current setup is having two AMS units, each connected to one extruder. You can easily see and adjust the filament mapping in the slicer. For this model we are using three colors, which means we only have to purge between two of them. Now let's compare the printing times. With the H2D, the print time is roughly 13.5 hours, and with the X1 it's almost 24 hours. Of course, print settings and speeds are identical. So this is the difference in print time, and this is the difference in purging. For me, the time and filament saved makes this printer a great investment. Now, let's take another example. A cool pirate ship. With two colors, there's no need to purge the filament. The extruder can quickly change between the print heads. This is well-engineered design, and in my experience, it's very reliable. This is a scalable ecosystem, which means you can have multiple AMS units at the same time, up to 24 different colors and filament types. And here are the printing times and purging, with the H2D 9.9 hours and X1 almost 23 hours. This is a big difference in your production cost. All right, but when printing with more colors, how do you know where to put the filaments? The slicer is smart and gives you the best recommendation. You have three modes to choose from. Filament saving, convenient and custom, if you want full control. For the next print, let's choose filament saving. The slicer tells you exactly which filaments to put where, which are also very easy to swap between AMS units. And this gives you the best print time and lowest purging. The same here is the comparison between them and how much time and filament you save. And of course, these values will vary based on design. One thing I want to emphasize, you don't have to be an expert to understand all of this. Just follow the recommendations from the slicer and printer and you'll have an easy and great experience. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more examples how to use different filament types, like PLA and TPU in the same print. And I can already tell you, it works very well. If you're considering getting the H2D, go for it. At its price, there's nothing similar on the market. And I've tried many printers. This is a great ecosystem to have and you'll love it. And for the next videos, please write me in the comments what questions do you want me to answer.